basically this goes to show that you had bootstrapped the entire you know yes. the company and it was the four of you who decided you know what um it was it wasn't four okay uh, so it was four of us from college who got in uh, figure that we'll start something together mm-hmm. and we were called game bag before playo okay um, okay because you know bag of games uh, some okay <laughs> but then we figured people uh, called it game bank game okay. back <laughs> game back so we figured okay the phonetics are not right let's um, get rid of it eventually right uh, 6 months into our journey uh, we were struggling quite mm. a bit mm. and uh, but we were out there meeting people all the time and at a similar uh, startup uh, weekend conference uh, we met our fifth co-founder okay. who was working who was a, actually a competitor okay. and uh, that was called playo okay and we were called game back uh, oh, he okay. was um, this guy who um you know comes with a ton of experience and i am i am b alumni mm. so he knows his uh, stuff um yeah. and could definitely lead a team right. but he didn't have a team okay so okay. we were the team he was the leader great marriage so we, f- we figured that let's let's do it together right so um that was back in 2014 yeah and since then we've stuck we haven't uh, no one's left the team Yeah. um it hasn't been seamless it won't ever be it, seamless but uh, it's been great right uh, we've right. understood we people have we've had our uh, moments it's been a roller coaster i've been down my co-founders have been down we've you know just pulled them up yeah um so that's been great so far yeah yeah, yeah. uh so we haven't had uh, too many entrepreneurs on our show yet okay uh so you're like the first oh. uh <laughs> let's say uh prime entrepreneur if you want to call it that okay. right so uh let's actually uh dive into a little more of that i mean mm-hmm. how did you guys go about um uh, you know bootstrapping this in terms of sure. um uh, i think you guys were 2 years out of college 2 years out of college yeah we right. were 23 okay uh the others were 23 i was 22 okay um and uh, yeah so what so what happened was finding the right people right mm. so it wasn't about finding the most talented people mm. it was about finding people who you can work with right so uh, there were people who were better at tech or better at marketing or what, what not but we figured the four of us are you know is a group that might be able to pull this off mm. that's the next thing was ideas um we you know pulled out ideas like a, a taxi aggregator so there were back in 2014 there was miru taxi for sure and yeah. all this and you had to call them up and so why not have a hotline to just get a cab it yeah. doesn't matter which cab yeah. we'll give you the price you can decide right. uh then we went on to zomato for photographers and you know a, a ton of uh, right. um, ideas came by but you know we we didn't really um feel so much for those ideas and also the market didn't seem like um something like this can work Mm. or it might still uh, but we Who just didn't that? do enough yeah. back then and we 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 are, we are okay with that mm. um i think um, eventually we were kind of slowing down you know okay. the ideas were reducing the energy was coming down and this is uh, once you guys were out of college we were yeah we were out of college okay. yeah two years out of college okay. uh, we were colleagues in cisco um, okay. so we would meet each other here and there but weekends were, we were always together okay uh, but um you know this is the ideation kind of started off because i i had written my uh, gre okay i was um, <laughs> looking to head out right. i got a few admits right uh just didn't feel right because i was just doing it because everyone's doing it not okay. because um, and i wanted to do it and if you really know what you want to do Great. and if you figure it out definitely do it yeah because an education not only helps helps with um you know the theory and uh, the expertise but you get to meet a lot of people right so right. more than i i'd love to i if anyone's picking a college pick a good college rather than um the course because my engineering i i'm glad i picked that college because there's not nothing much from the education that i've brought out to the, to the company yeah. but the people have really uh, right. you know come forward and stuck together right yeah and and i think that's always been a uh, uh things that people who have graduated talk about especially mm-hmm. post grads mba grads who talk about you know all of this can be found online right. you you know or you can probably learn on the job true true right but you don't get to network the way you mm-hmm. would you don't get to meet the right kind of people maybe right. like minded too maybe unlike minded a lot yeah. of different kind of folks across the board and then you say 
I had this idea, but then there's another person who thinks on my wavelength, but has a very mm. different sort of idea. And then, you know, just brainstorming itself can lead to a lot of things. Who knows? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So I think that, that those connections mm-hmm. I have seen at least most of these companies kind of benefiting out of these right from inception to, you know, whatever it is. Right. right. Uh, so, yeah, absolutely. I, I completely concur. I think it's those uh, connections, the right sort of people you meet and uh, you pick a college for that, for the community more than anything else. Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, so, yeah. So, yeah, back to this. So you guys are out two years. How did the whole bootstrapping thing go? Um, so we, 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 also, we still had our jobs. Um, mm. for, so for, I think uh, once we got the idea, it was in... Feb, March, I think. Mm. We, we stuck with the company for a good uh, four, five months mm. and we saved up a bit. Okay. Uh, was that with the intention that you're going to be pumping it into this or was it just saving? It's just saving. It was okay. regular. We didn't have a ton of money. We okay. just had enough to maybe, um, you know, keep us afloat for another six months, a year mm. with you know, being super frugal yeah, about uh, yeah. spending, right? And and are you talking about personal expenses or the company expenses? There were no company expenses because uh, the tech guys were co-founders, so we weren't okay. paying them. Right. Uh, we, Karthik and I, we were on the road meeting uh, uh, businesses, sports venues, mm. uh, which was our, uh, our main, uh, you know, uh, people where we could earn money from. Yeah. So we were out there, so we weren't really spending on ourselves or the company. The few expenditures were setting up the company, you mm. know, registering the company. We had no clue what LLC and private limited meant. Yeah. I still don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Although I've incorporated one. So, but RCA yeah. just told us do it, we did it. Yeah. You won't believe, uh, I had reached out to Karthik. Okay. Uh, when I was incorporating my company, this was more than a year ago. Mm-hmm. And he had uh, directed me to a CA okay. because he's like, dude, I have no idea. <laughs> you talk to him because he did a fine job then. Right. So talk to him and you get back to did, me. Did you speak to him last time? Uh, uh, yeah, I did. Oh, yes. Okay, okay. yes, I did. Uh, but I think I was also uh, in talks with a couple of people. Sure, sure. And then, yeah, we, we pick someone and you know how it is. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, I, like I said, I still don't know the nuances, but... Yeah. You know, I let the success go. Yeah, out. that's why you know you basically partner with CAs. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Same. Um, so yeah, so the CA helped us out, and it still helps me out with <laughs> yeah. stuff, right? Yeah. Which I don't understand. <laughs> Clearly, there's a lot. Yeah. Uh, so post which I think uh, six months we so bootstrapping we thought is just putting in our money in, but the definition of bootstrapping meant the money that your clients or the money that is coming into the company also can fund your company, exactly, right? right. Um, so that helped us. We didn't really have too many customers. We just had two paying customers, but we were okay. But mm. I think uh, we were maybe not on the right path. We we figured we had launched a website, um, wasn't doing great. Uh, we didn't know how to launch. I want. I loved marketing because uh, I thought it's you know just creativity. Mm. Uh, it's not. A, I I forgot about the fact that you need to also send this creativity out. It's not <laughs> just about coming up with great ideas, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, it's easy to come up with yeah, ideas. Yeah. <laughs> but how do you get it out to the right people? Yeah. So struggled a lot with that. Yeah. And then we met Gaurav. I think um, we kind of found our um, you know uh, path, and we. We still falter, but but it's um, I think we even Gaurav was struggling. We were struggling, but when we got together, um, he brought in some money, mm. which definitely helped. Mm. Uh, we could do things faster. We could uh, acquire users faster. Run some campaigns online. Right. Uh, that kind of got us our initial user base. But we decided that we we're going to grow slow. Mm. We. Didn't know, we knew that we didn't have the perfect product because nobody had done this before. Right. Uh, so we figured, let's not be too greedy. Let's not spread ourselves too thin. Let's start with, you know, five customers. Mm. Let's get it, get it right for them. Mm. And then let's do it only in Bangalore, mm. nowhere else. And uh, whereas we had a few competitors back then who had about 20 uh, venues signed up. And uh, we kind of figured that the app can't be just a booking app. It's got to be a lot more. It's it's not about a convenience. It's a community that needs to interact with each other, mm. which is why we brought in the friend finder where, in fact, that was always part of the plan, but we kind of pushed it further up. Uh, so the booking and the friend finder started working really well. Mm. We had to get a credible mask going so that people can actually find other people. 
and uh, sometimes we would go out and play so if someone's not found a partner yeah. we would send a request and we would just go out wow. and play right <laughs> so we wanted to ensure that the f- person had a good experience right. um but uh, w- what's happened is we we met a lot of players who were really good at the sport yeah and they didn't have a good game because we weren't great at it mm. right so right. that's when we figured skill is a big uh, yeah. factor here yeah. and that's when so right now people um love the fact that the skill on playo has uh, kind of correlates to what uh, they actually play like because let's say we've both uh, played badminton together and uh, i've uh, rated myself as a professional but you've been super humble and yeah. you've rated yourself an amateur after a game we get to rate each other and eventually the ratings balance out right. so that's been uh, working well for us and right. um, post which i think because nothing like this had happened before and uh, there were a lot of people who were who wanted to play but didn't know where to start mm. uh word of mouth became became a big part of our marketing uh, journey and that's so initially we hardly spent on marketing very very little to get that initially as a base then it's been word of mouth mm. and we just grew to about 25000 users in the first year which is a super super slow growth compared to the startups out there right. and this was back in 2014 2015 which if you built a chair with an extra cushion you would get funded mm. right so <laughs> yeah just because it had memory foam yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> so we, we in that stage where you were people were comparing us success was being compared to how much money you raised mm. rather than how many users or the retention mm. uh we figured that we'll do our own thing and we need to survive the long run rather than you know just blow up yeah. in a, in a year yeah and uh, we have i guess uh, so far yeah. it's it's been great um, yeah so that's where that's how i think i think close to a year and a half we were with our own money bootstrapped and post which we got an angel mm. who put in some money who mm. um was a contact mm. um yeah that's how we started